Hi, today I'm going to talk about breathing. Breathing for flutists is very important, as important as it is for singers. It's important for every instrument, but for us, all of our air does not go into the instrument, so we have to be athletes almost in order to make phrases that other instrumentalists would make easily. So I want to describe breathing and some exercises to help you expand your breathing capabilities. The best explanation I've ever heard of breathing is from Dr. Wendy Maney from Ithaca College. So here goes. Uh, we always hear breathe from the diaphragm. Well, that's just a muscle. It's involved in breathing, but it's not the only thing involved in breathing. So think of the diaphragm muscle as a bowl sitting on its rim. When you breathe in, the bowl flattens out. The bowl flattens out so the lungs can expand down and around. Now that's the first component of it. The rest of it is, is that you need to fill up your lungs. This is what a lot of people forget to do. They expand around the diaphragm area, but they forget to fill up their lungs. So you want to feel that expansion around your ribs and here with the sternum. So that will tell you you're getting it in the right place. So the best way to do that is breathe in through your nose. So get all of your air out, now breathe in. This should expand. Your hand should elevate. And your ribs should expand around to the back. So you want to stretch those intercostal muscles that are between your ribs so that your lungs can expand more. And you can actually improve that as time goes on. Now, that diaphragm muscle that we flattened out, that's an involuntary muscle. So it's going to come back up no matter what. So what you want to do is keep it as flat as possible as long as possible. So you want to push down on this, and this is what we call an isometric action, something pushing against something else. So as that diaphragm muscle is coming up, you want to push down, and this is what we call support. So what you're going to do, an exercise to show support, this is a fantastic exercise. So you breathe in through your nose, again, you want to lift the sternum, and then hiss. That is what support is, that one exercise right there. Now, as you're hissing, in order to improve your breathing and your support, you don't want to cave in as you're losing air. This is the hard part. You want to push out on everything as you're losing air. This will maintain good pitch, sound, and support. It's a very hard thing to do, but put your hands around your rib cage, breathe in, and hiss, and as you're losing air, expand. Don't let it cave in, and that will keep everything where it is supposed to be. So um, I like for breathing in, I do like breathing through the nose, because when we breathe in through our mouths, which we have to do when we're performing, the nose is more of a natural breath. But obviously when you're playing, you can't stop and breathe through your nose. But it's a good way to practice it. So a lot of times I'll just play, oh, let's say. Then I'll breathe. And then I might practice it. And try to get that quick breath in there and try to emulate the nose breath and put it in the same place. Um, so that is an exercise for exhaling, the hissing. For inhaling, there's so many exercises, and I encourage you to go to the Breathing Gym online. They have a lot of great exercises. The one that comes to mind is the, you've probably heard this, the Darth Vader. When you're breathing in, you want to hear that low pitch. That means that everything's super open. If you hear a high pitch, that means that it's not as open. So that's a, that's a good marker that you're not opening as much as you can. There are so many other ones that you can do to improve your breathing. So I encourage you to go online and find those. Uh, there's some really good ones with Breathing Gym, as I said.